Can you list one or two key features that make your project stand out from its competitors? What competitive advantage does your platform have that make you feel the most confident in yourself? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you the three that I just mentioned. So first and foremost, I look at us as building the most secure blockchain system in the world. That's where we're going. That, that's, that's the mission. Uh, and uh, I think our technology lends itself very well to making that a reality. And why I say the most secure blockchain system in the world is because it really is a system. If you want the most secure blockchain, go to Bitcoin. Like no one could argue that Bitcoin is not the most secure blockchain just based on hash power, um, right? Or hash rate. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is if you want to do other things besides coin transfer and you want full functionality, uh, you know, uh, like our SDK provides, maybe the, the full lattice implementation we provide, um, you're going to want to use our system. If you have things that require high value operations, like you're putting something like, like your digital identity on a blockchain, you want to you make very certain that you're using the most secure blockchain in the world. If you're putting property records on a blockchain, uh, if you're putting, say, real estate tokens on a blockchain, if you're putting gold futures contracts on a blockchain, anything that you can think of that's really high value. I'm not talking about the the lower segment, like lower lower value market segment. I'm talking about the really important stuff. You're going to want to use us, and and by the system, the blockchain system. What I mean is, we're, we have uh, what we're building here is a proof of stake blockchain with a, a zero knowledge proving system. So a, a circuit that enforces the consensus, the rules of the game, built on the the largest node network in the world. So we have 42,000 42, nodes with a proof of work blockchain with uh, modified Nakamoto consensus for a delayed block penalty in case um, you know, of 51% attacks and node-to-node -node encryption. So we have six features right now that make me very, very uh, comfortable to claim that we're, we are building the most secure blockchain system in the world. That, I, I argue, is our first and foremost um, most, most important value proposition. And then there are other things that are just that, that come from that. So Zendu is massively scalable. So if you have scalability issues and not just deploying infrastructure, but making sure that the cost per user, uh, per, per operation on the infrastructure remains low, maybe even declines on average over time with usage, you're gonna wanna use us versus other systems on the market. Uh, and then if you wanna do sophisticated things with data privacy, uh, we have the toolkit for that with Gingerlib and then different circuits that we're going to be implementing over time, uh, not that are coming right out of the box. I, I don't want to you know, represent that we're so far down the line there, but the, the power and the capability of Zendu, and then the first implementation that we're doing with Lattice on Zendu uh, it is extremely exciting. And we shouldn't undersell ourselves either. So it's always that delicate balance where you want to really get out there and, and you know, scream from the rooftop how awesome what we're doing really is and how it has this extremely valuable niche in the marketplace. But at the same time, we don't want to misrepresent ourselves where, number one, we're talking about things that we're not going to be doing. We're talking about things that are still like years out. So I think we're at the point now where we can finally really get out there and, and start making some strong claims because we're, we're delivering on them. We have a beta out there now and we're looking for production middle of next year. So I'm uh, really excited and confident with where we're going.